Now, the last time we met, you were very proud of your heating and cooling system, which used uh, groundwater, and one of the key components was a very special injection valve. I understand you've now developed two additional models. So what sizes are they, and why have you developed them? Yes, David, uh, we uh, did. Uh, we have a one-inch valve uh, located here uh, in the, at, the, at, the, at the back, and we have a four-inch valve, and uh, we did this because the one-inch uh, size valve was actually wanted from, uh, from the, our customers in, in the market because uh, there are some smaller size buildings in, in, in the Netherlands and uh, they don't uh, require uh, bigger uh, valves than the one inch and uh, mostly they have some smaller wells where the, the, the two inch didn't fit. And for the four inch uh, it's, it's, it's the other way around. We have some big uh, buildings uh, here that need cooling and, and, and heating and also need more water transported through the valve and that is why we, uh, we developed the four inch uh, valve. And you've also made some modifications to the control cabinet? Yes, uh, that's, uh, that, that, that's right. Uh, we uh, made a new uh, setup for the control cabinet. We, uh, we have now the control cabinet controlling on the injection pressure. As you see over my uh, left shoulder, uh, it's, it's the cabinet and it's now one complete unit. We have a, a, a water tank in there, so we don't need any uh, water pressure from, uh, from third, third, third party. And uh, it actually is self-supporting, uh, self so you just put water in, there's a pump in there, and it actually creates pressure for the, for the valves. And uh, as we, there we, st we steer our, our, our plunger in the, in, the, in the valve, groundwater valve with. And um, we actually, you can put on, the, the, the computer is now in this cabinet, and uh, you can put on the injection pressure that you need it in there. So we don't need any other components in, technical, uh, in the technical room anymore. So where would your system be used? Is it in uh, domestic households or is it in utility buildings? No, it's, it's mostly for, uh, for uh, utility buildings because it's for, for the households the, the system is, is, is mostly too expensive and uh, the, 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 the turnover is, is, then, uh, is, is, then, is then not marginal enough. So that is why uh, in, 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 in the Netherlands most 90% of these systems are in the commercial utility uh, buildings. Yeah. So your system, is it all about saving money or saving the planet? It's actually both, actually both. Um, saving, uh, saving the money is the, because you, you, need, you use groundwater and groundwater is, is, is cost, cost efficiency. If you can cool a building with, uh, with just uh, using water and nothing else, you know, don't need any other appliances uh, to, uh, to, to where that need electrical power. Uh, that's, 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 that's the money making side and the other side is the, uh, the, uh, the environmental side is that is, uh, there's, not enough, there's not much carbon dioxide uh, from, from, from the system because we use small pumps, small motors, so that is, like I say, both, both sides work.